today we're gonna build a pressure switch using some simple materials that were provided to you in a bag by your ITRTs. These should be with your Makey Makey kit, uh, but reach out to us if you need help creating a new kit of pressure switches. So the first thing I did was I connected my Makey Makey to a computer program. So I have my power cord hooked up, I have earth and I have space bar. And I will close my circuit and see if you can guess what I have open on my computer. If you guessed the bongo program, you are correct. But you could do this activity with a different program, maybe the piano or even your own scratch program um, if you want. So opening and closing my circuit makes the sound on my computer. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create a pressure switch using some simple materials. So let me show you what those are. All right, I have two pieces of foam, two pieces of aluminum tape, two pieces of cardboard, and a rubber band. Um, looking at these four materials, I'd like you to guess which one is a conductor. So think in your head, which one is a conductor? If you guessed the aluminum tape, you are correct. Everything else is an insulator. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we are going to peel off the back of our aluminum tape and put it right on the cardboard. These are both two by three inches, so we measured them to be exactly the same. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to take this piece of cardboard and make one side of it conductive using our aluminum tape. If your bag already has aluminum on the cardboard, that just saves you a step. So you can throw these back in your bag and use them year after year and just save yourself a step each year. So looking at my new pieces of cardboard, they have one side that's cardboard and is an insulator and one side that is conductive using my aluminum tape, which is a type of metal. So the next thing I need to do is create some space between them because these two pieces, when they connect, that's gonna close our circuit. And so we're gonna create a way for them to close and open, close and open. So to do that, lay one down and put your two pieces of foam on top, almost like we're building a s'more. Next, I'm gonna set the shiny side down on top of it so that it's kind of like two mirrors facing each other. And if you look at it closely, the aluminum should not be touching. That foam is creating some separation between the two pieces of aluminum. My rubber band is used to hold it all together. So gently wrap it around. Mine works well going long ways, but depending on the size of your rubber band, you may need to do it a little differently than mine. So now it's kind of all held together. If I press down, you can see the aluminum tape will touch and that's where the pressure switch comes from. But let's hook it up to see how this works. So my earth cord, I'm gonna put that on one side of the pressure switch and my space bar will go on the other half. So notice my circuit is still open because the aluminum's not touching, the alligator clips aren't touching, all of my insulators are kind of preventing them from touching. But now to close my circuit, all I have to do is press down and it should close. So we have just built a pressure switch together and I hope you have some time to do one as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Hello, 